Joining us now is Lisa Dietland. She's a friend of the show. She's been on often because she's got a lot of wisdom to share, a philanthropy expert and transformational change agent, and author of so many books that would make you smile. But she's going to help us connect the dots here on how we can help out. Lisa, how are you? Oh, I am doing really, really well. I'm healthy, I'm happy, and the sunshine today in Chicago. So it's a good day. So what can people do, though, if they want to go out and help? Because a lot of feel, people feel helpless, but they want to help out, but they also just don't know where to turn. And I know you help people sort of connect that to I where do, they can and, be a resource. And I have a, a lot of ideas, and some of them are pretty easy, and some of them are, might take a little creativity. So let's dive in. Okay. I mean, the first thing you can do is what all the experts are saying, stay home. Stay home and be safe. And that's one of the best things, ways that you can give back to your community is to do that. The second is to make a financial donation. And what most people aren't realizing is what about the smile.amazon.com? You know, all of us are ordering packages. And as you know, Amazon has a program with a lot of nonprofits registered that point, you know, a half a percent of selected purchases will go to that nonprofit if you log in under smile.amazon.com. Com. So if you're shopping in, online and at Amazon and choosing not to go into the stores, that would be a great way to begin giving back to charity without actually having to write a check. But I do encourage people, write a check, make a donation. Sometimes that makes you feel a lot better too. And here's a fun one. Did you get the census, Jen? How about completing the census? <laughs> that is part of our civic duty. It Let's is. Fill yeah. it out and, and send it back in so that, um, you know, we are getting the representation we need, the dollars we need. Obviously, we see the um, discussions that are going on in Washington, D.C. right now about the budget. Um, mm -hmm. Of course, you know, check on your neighbors is, is a pretty standard one. You know, um, I've been interacting with my neighbors, staying off their stoop, um, talking with them, making sure they're okay. And... Um, one of the ones that I really like is supporting local businesses. You know, I love Les Bouchons. You know that, Jen. Of and, course, but you can't um, go dine in now. So what do you I do? I know. You can't go dine in there. But what Oliver and Nicholas are doing are, you know, doing the hashtag, uh, too small to fail. Right. And so asking us to buy gift cards for when we do get to return to the business, mm -hmm. um, buying gift cards that we can use later, that they can use now to help them through this time because they're following the recommendations and they've shut down. They mm -hmm. have completely shut down. So think about your small businesses and how you can do that. Donate blood. Yes. You know, my good friend Selena Roldan's over at the American Red Cross in Chicago here, and we are in desperate need of blood in throughout the country and in Chicago. So go online to the American Red Cross Chicago. Just Google American Red Cross Chicago, and it'll come up, and there's a calendar, and you can find, you know, the date and time. And now, mind you, if you've been exposed, I think, you know, you have to hit pause and say, do I really need to go now, or can I schedule my appointment a couple weeks from now? You know, you know I worked the election last Last week, so I'm self quarantining until next Tuesday. Right, and then just because I, you want to give that two week time, since you were around a lot of people, not like you got spat upon or you know sneezed on a lot, but you're just being safe, and I totally respect that. I think that's great. Absolutely, and I'm feeling you know bad that I can't go you know to the Greater Chicago Food Depository. They need volunteers to come in and you know pre repackage the food to go out. You know, do you can still volunteer if you're healthy, if you're a healthy part of our society. But if you feel that you've been exposed, you know, take the step to quarantine yourself. One of the things I did um, yesterday, last night before I went to bed, I wrote down all where I've been in the last two weeks. And I really thought I'd been doing a good job. Since March 12th, I thought I'd been doing a really great job. No, understanding we didn't go into quarantine until Saturday or self um, social shelter in place. Right. I had interacted with nine different people and or groups of people. My. Since the 12th of March. Yep. And no, I haven't since we've sheltered in place, but I was like, oh, there was that parking garage guy. Oh, mm -hmm. there was that person. Oh, my neighbor brought over those saw horses for me. You know, right. I was like, oh my God. You know, like if I had to, one of the, one of the things I think our, your listeners should pay attention to is if you were diagnosed this week with um, the coronavirus and you had to share with that public health department where you'd been, would you be embarrassed because of how long your list is and you haven't done what you've been asked to do, or would you be proud of your list that you're, you know, taking great steps to protect all of our um, community? So make a list of where you've been. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple other thoughts that I had is, you know, delivering food to those folks that um, 
are scared to go out. How about making masks? One of my good friends, Irene, is making masks, and I can send if um, you know a listener wants to send me a an email. You know, go to my website. You know, lisadietland dot com. Yes, and, absolutely. And send me an email, and I'll get you connected with Irene. And you know, she's got the the. I want to say recipe, but I think it's called uh, <laughs> the tutorial. Pattern, right? <laughs> yeah, the tutorial. We had Dr. Stryker, Dr. Lauren Stryker, on last night. She started this, and it went viral. And the New York Times got a hold of the story, and so ne- now she's got a video on her website, drstryker dot com, how Perfect. to do it. I mean, they aren't one hundred percent effective, but they are f- about forty percent, and they are definitely better than nothing. And they're washable, and they're reusable, recyclable. So it's not a bad idea at all. And I was thinking about contacting my dentist. Mm-hmm. I have a, a, a friend's husband who's a dentist in Maryland doing this, and, you know, they're donating all their masks. Yeah. You know, they're donating all their supplies that they can. And I thought, I wonder if my dentist is doing that or if I could make that connection because I know some people, you know, just be creative, folks, about, you know, you might not think that you want to go to a, a place and volunteer or that you don't have the resources to write a check, but there's a lot of ways that you can connect dots and be a connector to, to move goods from one place to the other. Have you contacted your legislators about what, uh, you know, how you're feeling about this? I mean, mm-hmm. I'm a, a big proponent of let's make sure our small businesses and our individuals have support, the support they need coming out of it. I don't mean don't support the big businesses, but my heart is with, you know, the small mm-hmm. businesses that um, populate our beloved communities and neighborhoods throughout Chicago. So another way you could, it's not being political, it's just sharing your opinion. You know, we have great representation in all of our communities reach out at the federal level, at the state level, and share what you're seeing, what you're feeling, what you want to see happen. This is our country and our time to step forward and and share our opinion in a way that perhaps when our lives are super busy, um, we don't have that time. Great tips from Lisa. Lisa LisaDietlin.com. That's L-I-S-A-D-I-E-T-L-I-N.com. And, of course, you can learn about her books. Her videos are there, speaking, and all the other wisdom that she has. Lisa, we'll have you back because you've always got such such great information for us. So really appreciate you, and happy self-quarantining, and we will be in touch soon, okay? (laughs) Thank you, and everyone, thank you for what you're doing to make our community better. Stay safe, be well.